So what I'm going to do here is actually uh, just test to see how much um, current this little relay takes uh, when it's uh, idle, so not doing anything, and also when it's um, obviously you know, energised to so switch it on. And I'm going to do that using a battery, mainly because I'm actually want to use this battery for for a little project, um, which is for the Confused.com uh, robot. Um, obviously, I haven't actually tested the uh, usage of the um, ESP yet, but I'll I'll do that after this. Uh, this is a 650 milliamp hour battery. Um, and it's a, just a 3.7 volt, so it's a single cell lipo that I got with a quadcopter. Um, I've got a couple of them for the quadcopter, so I've got a spare just that I'm going to use for this. Now, um, I'm going to use a breadboard to wire it up just to make it a bit easier. Because uh, the relay, obviously, it's got three pins. Um, so we've got VCC. Which is the red one, and then you've got ground, which I'll use slightly further down on the breadboard because that end of the breadboard is quite loose now because I've been using this quite a bit. I've got a cheap one, and then you've got yellow one. It's hard to hold that actually, it securely holds it. Uh, that's the ground, and this one is the in pin, so this will come live uh, when this comes live, the, the relay will switch on. Um, so what I'll do, I got the battery charger for the LiPo. Well, I've got a couple of these battery charge cables, so I cut that and uh, just stripped and tinned the ends, the wires. Now I believe that this is actually backwards. So even though that plugs in there perfectly, and you've got red and black. If I put this onto the bolts. And do what you think you should do, which is red to red and well, white to black on the meter is actually negative 4 volts. So it's actually the wrong way around within the plug or in the socket, I should say. But if you turn it around, obviously you'll get positive 4.17 volts. So obviously it's high because it's under no load, it's fully charged. Um, so, what we'll need to do is this is actually the, uh, the positive wire and that's the negative wire. So, the wrong way around. So, I'll unplug the battery and we'll do it. So, I'd rather not short that out. Push those two in. Just for a moment, then I thought I wasn't recording. That would have been quite funny. Sit that there like that. And what I'll do is I'll just join the. First of all, we'll just turn this on. Yep, and we get a red light. So it's 4 volts, so the relay is rated at 5 volts to be working, but obviously it's working on 4 now. If it does go down to 3.7 and lower, obviously it will. Um, you know, it may stop working. Um, so we'll have to see. So what I'll do is to monitor the current usage uh, when it's idle like that, I can easily take a pin from over there and obviously use this one. I don't even need to put that in there to be honest. So they're the two. So that would actually do the same thing once the battery's in. Get the battery plugged back in. And obviously shorting those two will be the same thing yeah, it comes on so what we'll do is I'll put this on to milliamps and uh, obviously it will be even minus or positive let's see what it says no, that's negative so let's turn it round I wasn't even paying attention to which way around it was it doesn't hurt so what's that that's 2.2 milliamps well, that's pretty good because that's a 650 milliamp hour battery so that's going to last quite a while uh, like 325 hours or something 320 hours so what yeah more than a week so not massively long but as this is going to go into the uh, confused.com robot you know a week 
of being on you're playing with that it's not it's not going to be on that long so then to energize it if I uh, switch the relay on to standby mode and then also put that's right yeah you short it to earth not sure ah oh, there we go that pin's coming off there <laughs> rattling a bit alright so that's short to earth confusing because obviously it's red wire but it's not it's earth there so so let's actually energize let's see how many milliamps this will take so it was two before ah it's not even working so let's put it up to the next range I did hear it click slightly yeah so my multimeter was uh, limiting it so that's, that was minus I think it was about 50 something so let's have a look Yeah, fifty. So what's that? Fifty. Yeah, fifty-one milliamps. Fifty-two milliamps going up. Fifty-four milliamps. So again, this is something that's you're going to send it a command uh, using the ESP, and it's literally going to go on off, just to send, just to literally short out the two, the pins in the robot, to make it say this, you know, its speech. So it's going to be at fifty milliamps for you know, what, half a second. Yeah, so that's hardly going to make a difference on that battery. Um, so yeah, that's a good little test of that to see how much current that draws. So the next thing I want to do, obviously this is 3.7 volts. Now, I'm going to be using it with an ESP. So I'll take all this apart, make another video of the ESP and see how much current that takes as well.